In your book, you talked about how positive emotions expand people's mindsets and that helps to kind of reshape who they are. And I was hoping you could just talk a little more about that. Do you, I, I'm curious too, because that impacted you. What does that speak to in your soul? Well, I, I'm a huge believer in positive emotions. And I think um, it, it kind of goes back to gratitude. I think a lot of the purpose of gratitude is it keeps one elevated and one's thinking and optimism. So I just want, was curious what you'd learned from it, because I think it makes so much sense. It does. And that the positivity, it's almost like it can lock in some of the benefits that you get by, uh, by being positive. And there's, um, there's something they call, it's, I can't think of the word in psychology research that they use. It's like a treadmill, I think they call it, is that when you repeatedly are using these positive emotions to uh, lock in certain benefits and certain behaviors, it really um, makes it go deeper. It makes it stickier. And so that can be really helpful too. And so people tend to think of positive emotions as just like, oh, you know, I felt good. I watched a TV show. You know, I had positive emotions. It was great. But it's it, it's so much deeper than that. And I get that you get that, you know, that with the way you talked about it, I think you really understand is that we can use those positive emotions to um, to lock in learning and to lock in uh, the, the the benefits and the uh, our perseverance to stick to challenges when when you know we don't want to and so we can really use that uh, positivity as a tool to help us accomplish our goals and things that we want to do it's it's not just you know watching TV on a sunny day no. 